Shelby, I just wanted to ask, um, as pitchers, how last second is it sometimes when you find out you're going to be the starter? Um, most of the time, it's 30 to 45 minutes before the game, give or take. Normally, we do our hitting rotation, and we do, like, our pregame hitting, and we stretch. And then after we stretch, that's kind of when we figure out who um, is throwing. So um, it kind of depends on the pitcher who's starting also because some of us take less time to warm up than others. Um, but it's about 30 to 45 minutes, give or take the game. And if coach, what she's wanting and what she's deciding. Does that keep you and the pitching staff focused? I mean, like in baseball, those guys know, like when they go to sleep that night, hey, I'm starting tomorrow. Does that kind of keep everyone, hey, guessing and on edge? I think it does. I think it's helpful for us. Um, I think sometimes when we have so long to prepare and we like know ahead of time that we can kind of get in our heads and get in the way of just going out there and doing what we're supposed to do and doing what we're good at. So I think that's one of the things that they're one of the reasons why coach doesn't tell us ahead of time and she tells us like right before the game. So we kind of just can go out there and just focus on doing what we're good at and focus on our stuff. And we don't have time to like think about it and process it and try to be perfect. Shelby, how, how dangerous is this lineup when it's balanced to like it is right now? Um, I think it's, I mean, we have a solid lineup one through nine, um, even with the girls that are, um, our pinch hitters that come in. I just think that we have um, several people in our on our offense that are just big hitters and powerful. And we also have with Aaliyah and Sierra in the lineup. It, it's just, it's an unstoppable lineup when we're all balanced and we're all on. Um, and I think that we saw that in regionals this past weekend. Uh, when we were on, it was, I mean, we put up runs, we put up hits and it was like there was nothing that they could throw us that was getting us out. And so I think that's a really good thing going into this weekend. It's um, a really positive aspect that we have going for us. It's just when we're all on, we just work really well together and we just um, like can just balance each other out. I know you're going to go back to 28 or, ahead, or so. Uh, oh, sorry. Broke. Uh, no, go ahead. I, I knew that Georgia and you hit those balls hard, the home runs opposite field. Was there was there like a conscious effort to, you know, w during the week of preparation, hitting balls the other way, or did that – was that just happenstance? Um, I think it's a combination of both. I think um, that's one thing that we're good at is being able to hit both sides of the field, um, go oppo or turn on a ball. Um, I think our biggest – concentration is just barreling things up really and just getting the barrel to it and trying to hit stuff um, on a line and not so much in the air. And I think that just from the, the focus on that has helped us be able to hit more balls opposite side. Shelby, if you can go back to 2018, what do you remember about that double header at Florida State? Um, that was a long time ago. Um, I just remember that was my first super that I ever I had ever played in. And um, I remember being in the lineup and I remember being very nervous because um, that was the first time and being a freshman in the lineup. Um, I was one of the only freshmen in the lineup. So um, I remember just being nervous and just but being very excited. It was a very exciting moment, something that I had always dreamed about doing and working for. So um it was a very long day, but it was very exciting. And I'm looking forward to this weekend and really just being able to be at home in front of our fans and just play LSU softball again. How do you feel going into it now? Have the nerves a little bit subsided since you've been there before? And I also wanted to ask you too, if you can just update us on how you're feeling um, in the walking boot. Um, I'm doing good. I'm okay. We're taking it one day at a time. Um, yes, the nerves have gone, you know, like since being able to pitch in a super regional at Minnesota. Um, I've kind of done it all. I've been able to hit, I've been able to pitch. And so those nerves are kind of, I know what to expect. I know being older now, I kind of know how to deal with the nerves and deal with the, the what's going to come. And so it's definitely a different feeling. Um, kind of like Amanda said, we're just being older now, it just is easy to embrace where we're at and just enjoy each and every moment just to be where our feet are. And I think that's one of the most important things that we can do. What did you think of Ali Carponent's performance against ULL um, from last weekend? And how do y'all plan on carrying that momentum into the circle? 
she did a phenomenal job. You know, she stepped up. She stepped up several times this year when we needed her. Um, and I just think that was just another performance where she just stepped up and she knew what she needed to do. And she went out there and she threw her stuff and she was confident. And I think that's a very good thing going into this weekend to know that we have her. Um, I mean, we have a, a big pitching staff and we have a, a deep pitching staff and we all complement each other really well. Um, and so I think that just her being able to go out and have confidence and just give us a performance that we needed is um, a really big thing going into this weekend. Uh, we also have MB and Shelby Wickersham who can come out and do stuff. So I just think it's, it's, it's going to be exciting this weekend to see what our pitching staff does.